My administration continues to look for ways to make Methuen a greener and more energy efficient city. Last year, Methuen's first solar powered lighting system was installed at Martin Park. This solar array was funded through a grant and was constructed in partnership with the IBEW Electricians Union. Methuen also held its first electronics recycling day, which saved Methuen residents thousands of dollars by allowing them to dispose of environmentally hazardous electronic devices free of charge. Looking ahead, the city recently filed a grant application to conduct a wind survey with the Renewable Energy Trust. And I am pleased to announce tonight that the trust will fund a wind survey on the site of the Medouin Ski Hill. This will hopefully lead to the construction of the city's first modern day wind turbine. And in an attempt to further improve our energy efficiency, Methuen has joined Amesbury and Haverhill in seeking the services of an energy expert who will assist all three cities in benchmarking our energy utilization and in working with us to eliminate unnecessary and wasteful usage. That process begins in March. On the education front, two major projects that have been in the works for the past two years will make significant progress in 2009. Last fall, the city broke ground on the foundation for a new clubhouse locker room facility at the football stadium. The old clubhouse is outdated and in disrepair. Quite frankly, our student athletes deserve much better. Given the city's financial position, I am attempting to construct this facility using little to no city money. I am relying mainly on labor and material donated by unions, companies, and volunteers. This is not an easy task, but I am hopeful that our community will come together and join me in this effort. If you wish to help, please contact my office and we will gladly put you or your donation to work. In 2008, the city and school department made significant strides towards the revitalization of Methuen High School. Methuen was one of only three communities to receive a funding commitment from the Massachusetts School Business Authority for a high school revitalization project. A building committee was formed and KBA Trident was hired as Methuen's owner's project manager. An agreement for a feasibility study was also finalized. We are now in the process of hiring designers and architects. Those professionals will be on board by April. Our schedule will produce a design within 12 months with construction beginning shortly after design is complete. This Monday, I am asking the City Council to appropriate a $2 million loan order so that the initial uh, funding can be put into place. I know that this is a large undertaking, but the condition of the existing school puts our accreditation at risk and no longer provides the best environment in which to educate our children. The Methuen High School project is needed now, and I am very hopeful that the stimulus package just passed by the Congress maintains some funding for this critical project. And I just gave you a little bit of an outline of a schedule um, and I am now going to hold the chairman of the uh, school building committee, Sue Lamoureux, responsible for carrying that out. Suzanne, thank you for being here tonight. The chairman of the building committee. According to economic forecast, 2009 is not going to be much better than 2008 was. In fact, it could be even worse. There is, however, good news on the horizon. For years, residents have told me that having an Olive Garden restaurant in Methuen was high on their wish list. With a, with a new restaurant building to be constructed this fall at the Loop, that wish is set to become a reality. In addition to Olive Garden, Methuen Village at Riverwalk Park, a 91-unit assisted living facility in downtown Methuen, will open next month. Next door to Methuen Village will be a new Remax Preferred Office Building, as well as the return of Dairy Queen to, to the downtown after a 20-year absence. That's a good thing. 
On Pelham Street, the new Irving gas station, car wash, and Circle K convenience store will open this spring. A new Subway sandwich shop is also planned for the area. Moving to the Jackson and Swan Street area, a new CVS and bank is planned for that gateway intersection. The developers are hoping to break ground this spring. The new development in this area is very welcomed since it will replace the former Richdale store and empty warehouse space. The new clubhouse at the Merrimack Golf Course is set to open this spring. This will include a pro shop and restaurant as well as a much needed function facility. The reserve, a new neighborhood of 43 luxury homes on the golf course, is also nearly complete. On, a, on Burnham Road, Park Plaza, 28 units of market rate condos, is set to break ground this spring. And on Merrimack Street, veteran developer Joe Papalato is looking for approval for another 20,000 square foot office building, which would be in addition to his successful first phase of this commercial residential development. Our neighbors in Salem, New Hampshire recently approved the construction of a new Lowe's on Route 28. This will mean road widening and traffic improvements on Route 28 in Methuen, as well as what has been called a reverse TIF, allowing Methuen to tax a vacant parcel of parking space on this site as if a commercial development existed on it. This 20-year deal means that in addition to the road improvements, Methuen taxpayers will benefit from a greatly increased tax dollars flow from this site. And on Wheeler Street, construction will soon begin at the former Zambino gravel pit. Toll Brothers plans to construct 240 units of age-qualified over 55 housing and related infrastructure improvements along Wheeler Street. Methuen has been in need of a new main post office for many years, as well as an additional contract postal station to service our West End. We have, frequent, we have recently announced the addition of a contract postal facility to serve West Methuen at the Galloway site, and I would like to recognize Councillor Steve Zani for his efforts in this regard. Steve, thank you. Methuen still needs a modern postal facility, and thanks to the efforts of Senator Kerry and Congresswoman Songus, a request for solicitations is going out next month for a new downtown location. I understand that there are many interested developers, and I'm, I am hopeful that this important first step will lead to a modern and customer-friendly postal facility. I would like to personally thank all of these companies for investing in Methuen, at a time when other cities are seeing businesses close and experiencing record foreclosures. <clears throat> As mayor, I will do whatever it is in my power to help these businesses thrive in our community. On top of affordable housing, on the topic of affordable housing, thanks to the hard work of our legislative delegation and our community development department, we received the $75,000 grant to study affordable housing options. This study is already underway. I, along with the City Council, recently established a Chapter 40B Audit Commission that will review and audit past and future 40B projects to ensure they comply with affordability standards and that the City's financial interests are protected. The Commission recently met with a representative of the State Inspector General's Office to ensure that Methuen taxpayers have adequate tools to review financial data submitted by 40B developers. My thanks to City Councilor Joseph Leone for his hard work on this initiative. Thank you, Joe.